Meanwhile, Acting Mayor London Breed is getting down to business as Nightbeat's Phil Mateer reports. Um, but I do feel strongly that I'm qualified and I'm prepared to do this job. Supervisor London Breed made her first appearance outside of City Hall today as acting mayor to promote a gun buyback program this weekend by the United Players, an anti-gang violence group. Sadly, I grew up in a community where gun violence was a normal thing. But it wasn't long before acting Mayor Breed was sounding like a full-time candidate for the job as well. An incredible responsibility um, and just definitely up for the task. I know this city. I've worked for this city for many years. I've been on the board. I've worked in the community. You know, a lot of this stuff is, is second nature to me. However, there are those at City Hall who say that Breed's multiple roles as both acting mayor and president of the Board of Supervisors and a possible candidate for full-time mayor may be one job too many. We're in the holidays, but obviously at some point, uh, the legislative and the executive branch should have separate leadership. There are also those who feel that if Breed serves as acting mayor for the next six months, that will give her a leg up in the June election. They want a caretaker who won't run. Bloom is off. It was only maybe a few hours before people start speculating about who would ultimately replace Ed Lee, and not just as acting, not just as interim. So one question is, when will the supervisors make the call? No, we need to move fairly quickly. With the big question being, is Breed a candidate herself? So I haven't even thought about that, Phil. Um, it's, you know, again, I'm here uh, to do, do this job and do it well, and that is at the forefront of my thoughts. Now, the fact is that Acting Mayor London Breed, as well as a number of other elected officials in and out of City Hall, have been thinking about running for mayor. Changing circumstances, however, are going to jumpstart that campaign, and they're all going to have to make a decision come January 9th because that's when the filing deadline would be for the June election. It should make for very interesting holidays for them all. For the Night Beat, Phil Mateer, back to you.